I, I look at everything as five generations. But uh, we have a number of stallions here that are going to complement those things. So in breeding, um, I look at stats, like we talked about. I look at uh, something that's called Rasmussen factor. It's a, it's a theory of line breeding to superior females through her different offspring. So when I'm looking at five generations, I'm looking at Pocolina, I'm looking at Pepe Bell, I'm looking at Teresa Tibio, I'm looking at all these great matriarchs. I could easily say, you know, Royal Blue Boon and Playboy's Ruby and the Smart Look and, you know, uh, I, the list goes on and on. So if you can line breed to these great female lines through their different sons or daughters, well, that's called Rasmussen factor. So I look at that. Okay. I also look at, uh, Cordors News has that term of magic cross. Certain bloodlines cross well on certain bloodlines. In the thoroughbred racing industry, we call it Nick, a Nick. So that's really, really important. Um, I, I wish it was like, you know, algebra. You know, if you do this and you do this, you're going to get this answer. It's not. Um, but should, should, should the industry as a whole start making better breeding decisions? Yes. What's your advice then in terms of if someone wants to breed a horse, um, A, you said go get some genetic testing, B, um, you know, look at, I guess, I guess firstly it comes down to what their goals are or what they're trying to produce. Yeah, I mean, What's I, the framework that someone should go through all the steps when they're considering it? I love Facebook. It's, it's a great tool to communicate, but let me just tell you, one of my personal beefs is when somebody says, I have a smart Alina, what should I breed it to? <laughs> I mean, what are you talking yeah, about? I yeah. mean, what do you want? Do you want a cutting horse? Do you want a barrel horse? I mean, what, yeah. what, start with that. What do you want to do with the baby? Yeah. Do you want to sell the baby? You know? Well, if you want to sell the baby, then well, let me back up. So I look at it in three, three stages. Once you decide what you want to do, that's the four stages. That's goal number one. But first you have to look at what is your horse, bloodlines, so genotype, and also phenotype, what does it look like? What does it act like? So genotype is everything that is behind the horses, their pedigree, family, and phenotype is everything that the horse shows us, what they look like, what they act like, their ability, all those things. And then the third thing is market. I mean, highbrow cat has the most expensive breed fee in our in the cutting horse business. Uh, should you breed a mare that's valued at $10,000 to highbrow cat? If you want to, sure. But the baby's not going to be worth the amount of money that it took to produce right. you know, the foal. So I would advise you not to do that. Versus if you have a $200,000 mare, I probably wouldn't go breed to the neighbor's horse that he's trying to give you a breeding that nobody knows who he is because the foal isn't going to be worth, you know, what you think because your mare's value. So it goes both ways, right? So you got to be smart about your dollar. Um, so you take those three factors, and you mentioned it earlier. It isn't an ig science. It really is more of an art form, and you kind of weigh it out. 